okay, this is the last one in this set. And um, it's going to combine some things that we've done before. Um, notice we've got, just take a look at our picture first. Uh, we've got a hook and we've got two ropes coming off of it at strange angles. And it says, determine the resultant. Okay, so what does that mean we, we're going to have to do? Well, what that means is that ultimately we're going to have to get down here and have something like this where we say F1. And then we've got an F1X, an F1Y, and an F1Z. And then for F2, we're going to need the same stuff, F2X, F2Y, and F2Z. Then we're going to add those up, okay? So we've done this kind of thing before, and we're going to end up with Rx, Ry, and R, whoops, Rz. Okay, now remember, when we're doing this, um, what we do then is we add this way. Okay, so and it basically we're going to have to find the X, Y, and Z components for the two vectors, and then we add the components together. All right, so that's the sort of the shortcut way of saying all that right there. Now let me make all this smaller, and we'll kind of tuck it off to the side um, just a little bit there. Okay, so let's get after it here. So let's start with F1. So we're going to need F1X, F1Y, and F1Z. All right. Now, um, F1 is this force up here. And take a look at the thing. Look at the, You might want to pause the video and look at that triangle for just a little bit. And you'll realize that there's nothing drawn in the floor. Okay, there's nothing drawn on the floor. So what, what exactly does that mean? Well, it, it can be hard to tell what that means, but see how they've made sort of made a box with their triangle like this. What they're trying to explain to you is that that vector actually lies completely in the ZY plane. Completely in the ZY plane. And that means that actually there is no X component to it, okay? And then getting the Y and the Z components is going to be pretty straightforward because then for Y, we're going to have 500. And we need the component that's parallel to Y, which is this one, so the 4. So we need here 4 fifths on that one. So that's going to be 400. And the other one, we're going to have, um, we need the, the, the vertical part of our triangle. So that goes as three-fifths. So we're looking at 300. Okay. So now we've got X, Y, and Z for, um, for F1. Okay. Woo. I don't know why. That's being goofy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get rid of this. Boom. Okay, let's switch over now and get our components for F2. And um, so F2 is like some of the ones that we've just done before. So we're going to have to think about the shadow vector, angles, blah, 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 blah. All right. And um, so if we take a look at that, so F2X, all right, we're going to need the shadow vector, which is the vector in the XY plane. So that's going to be 800 cosine 45 degrees. And then that gets modified times the cosine of 30 degrees. All right, once you do that, you get 489.9. Nine. 
then we're going to need f to the y component of f2. So again, we're going to use that shadow vector, the vector in the y xy plane. So 800 cosine 45. And then that, though, is going to go as the sine of 30 degrees. And once we do that, we're going to get 282.8. Okay. All right. Now, uh, pause. Let's make sure our sign conventions are correct. Okay. So if we look at our rope, okay, indeed it is positive in X and indeed it's positive in Y. Okay. It's only negative in Z. Okay. So we got to keep that in mind. Negative in Z. F2Z. So 800 sine 45 degrees. It's negative. And we get minus 565.7. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave it for you to, oh, there, what's the number? Oh, it just hasn't come through yet. Okay. So I'm going to leave it to you to finish that up, um, all you need to do is uh, plug in for F1, X, F2, X, F3, X, I'm sorry, <laughs> F1, X, F1, Y, F1, Z, F2, X, F2, Y, F2, Z, and just add up the X components, the Y components, and the Z components, and your number is going to pop right out of there for you. All right, there we go. So that's the end of section six.